Okay, I want to set up some file sharing, some folder shares in my Windows Server 2008. So I'm in my Server Manager and I'm going to add a role. So I can just select uh, roles here and click Add Roles. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a role. So I'll click uh, Next and I'll click on File Services. I'll click on Next and Next and I'm going to pick some file services that I want to use so a uh, distributed file system would be good if I want to um, if I want to have copies of shared folders copied to other services if I uh, other servers if I have multiple servers on my domain uh, I'm going to we'll do the uh, file server resource manager which is a nice tool uh, services for network file system I have uh, if I have uh, Linux or Unix machines on my network and I want to share files between them, between uh, Linux uh, computers and uh, Windows computers, then this could be handy. All right, and then, um, all right, that looks good. I'll just select these. This is what I have available right now, so this is what I'll go with. All right, and I'll click Next and I'm gonna create a namespace for DFS I don't have multiple servers let's say on the network right now so I'll just do that later and next and then storage monitoring I can do that later as well and I will conf uh, I can overlook this see this is what I want to install you know is this what you want to do and if it is you hit install and now I just gotta wait for this to install Okay, I'm still waiting for this to finish the install. All right, installation succeeded. So now I can go about and start um, using this new role. If I open up this role here, let's see here, there's file services. So now I have the file services role added. If I open that up, let's take a look. you can see there I have the share and storage management tool which I could use to um, provision a share now I've uh, put a folder a shared folder a uh, folder that I'd like to share under my C drive so let's see if we can use this tool to share that folder so I'll click here and I don't need this action window so maybe I can get rid of it No, I want that. It's this one I want to get rid of. Okay, so if I click on the Share and Storage Management tool here, um, you can see here here are my shared folders. These are my shares that I have already by default on my system. You can see here Volumes, Shares, and then File Server Resource Manager, uh, FSRM. Let's take a look at that. FSRM, we can open that up, quota management, file screening management, storage reports. This is where I guess we could set up a share um, or we can use the FSRM tool. How about if we just want to create a share? What do we do? Maybe we can right click on this, provision storage, provision share, bingo. All right, I'll use that. And share location, let's go find it. I'll browse for it let's say under the C drive uh, there is the folder I created called my share so I'll select that click OK right and hit next um, do you want to change the NTFS permissions for this folder so I can work with NTFS permissions on this folder right here if I want to or I can just click next and select each protocol over which users can access this share folder so I could say SMB um, Servage Message Block. This is a Windows share called My Share, right? And then here is the share path to the um, folder. If I want to have a network file system for a um, Linux share, I could take the default here and set that up. I think I'll try to do that because I want to share to my maybe Linux machines. And I'll hit Next. And advanced settings user limit maximum allowed 
I can set up access based enumeration if I don't want people who don't have permissions to see the folder then they won't be able to see the folder um, I can click advanced here allowed number of users if you're not on if you're not authenticated or you don't have access you won't be able to see it that's the type of thing right there for right now I'll just turn it off um, let's see here alright next and select one of the following basic share permissions or create custom share permissions okay um, all users and groups have only read access uh, so I could set up special permissions here administrators have full control control all other users and groups have only read access okay so I could I could select that let's say um, or I could set up some custom permissions right here and say hey I only want these specific groups to have access and I could add those right here instead of everyone I could remove everyone and add only certain users I'll just go with this one administrators have full control every other user and group has read access I'll click next um, authentication methods if I want people to authenticate with uh, let's see here allow unmapped user unit access I'm gonna just hit the default here because I'm a little bit newbie on this alright and this, once again there's the share path for the um, NFS permissions for a Linux host okay read access root access disallowed alright that sounds good I'll just take the default here next uh, quotas if I want to set up a quota for it um, you know only so much storage a storage limit let's say on how much people can save uh, 100 megabit limit 100 megabyte limit per I guess is that per user or total this one reports to user limit reports to user 50 megabyte extension 250 megabyte extended limit I could just change that or I could hit the default 100 megabyte and well, let's try something 250 megabyte extended limit alright that sounds good and of course you'll get a warning when it's says here that you know, you'll get an email warning or something like that when it's um, almost full alright that sounds pretty cool I'll hit next and I could uh, file screen here to block certain file types if I wanted to block executable files let's say something that could be uh, you know dangerous to your network or maybe just large file sizes that you don't want on there you could do that if you wanted to screen that um, if I want to have a DFS namespace I could set that up right here I don't have it right now so I'll skip it and here's my settings notice all these settings are, are configured basically for you using this kind of uh, shared folder wizard and hit create and success and hit close and now if I click on the share and storage management you'll see there it is NFS and then SMB and then there's my share and my share so that's pretty cool